Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to upload a JSON file directly from your system into your Microsoft Fabric Lake House. So before we get started, I just want you to, uh, if you're appreciating the work that we've been doing, subscribe and like uh, our videos so that we can continue making more of these videos. And we've got a whole playlist on Microsoft Fabric, which I linked to in the top right hand corner of your screen. Please do subscribe so you can uh, stay up to date with whatever whatever um, videos we're releasing on Fabric along with our other data streams. So let's dive into this one where we're going to upload a JSON file into your lake house. So again, like the last video, we come into workspaces and choose the workspace for which we want to into which we want to uh, upload this uh, JSON. We choose the lake house of type lake house that we want to upload the JSON into. Like this is lake house one. I have a video showing you how to create a lake house, which I linked to in the top right hand corner of your screen. And then what you need to do is come to this file section and hit the three dots. Once you hit the three dots, you get the upload option. You can choose upload files or folder. I'll just choose upload files for now. And then when you hit the search bar, you'll be taken to the browse window where you can choose your JSON file, open it and upload. So the upload has been completed. So once that upload is completed, you'll see your JSON file appear here in the file section. We've not created any subdirectories, but that is possible as well. But for now, we can just click on this JSON file and preview the data. And you can see that we've got all our about a thousand rows of data in here. So that's um, how you upload a JSON file directly into Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next one.